Hello everyone and welcome to the Simil Garage once again, one of our favorite places. Um, and we're here today with one of these products that you wonder why you don't see more often. And I certainly had many cases in the past where I wish I had one of these and I made them out of Coke cans and all sorts of sort of cutting up other speed reel tubes and hitting them with the hammer and flattening them out. Essentially what we always wanted is a speed rail shim. So they are split in two um, because a lot of times, you know, if you have a bunch of clamps on a piece of speed rail and if it was one piece, you'd have to go to the end of the speed rail and slide it into place. But since it's two pieces, it could be in the middle of a run and all you have to do is just slip them in. That's why we split them in two. Here's the situation. You have a something some implement that is made for an inch and a half yet you only have an inch and a quarter speed rail so traditionally if you try to do that some clamps won't even apply the right pressure and then your pipe will slip some won't even work and you have to space it out somehow you have to create a shim and so what we made is a two-piece shim it's cnc machined made out of aluminum aircraft aluminum and anodized black and it's very simple. So for example, one of the uses right here, we have our suction cup and our modular speed rail starter. Now in this case, this speed rail starter is for the inch and a half. So as you can see here, this is an inch and a quarter speed rail. Um, there's a very big difference and obviously that will never work. So what you can do is you can take our speed rail shim and slide that in there and I like to line up the spaces on the cutouts with the clamps and that allows it to squeeze it and then you take the inch and a quarter speed rail and boom so now you have just taken something that was made for an inch and a half speed rail which is 1.9 inches outer diameter and shimmed it down so that it can clamp around the smaller inch and a quarter speed rail tube, which is actually measures 1.66 inches. It sounds simple. Um, it's not something that I can commonly find. And so we decided to start making it and offering it to everybody. Um, for example, you might have one of our Houdini speed rail clamps. And if you happen to have the inch and a half version, you can always just add our shim and work on an inch and a quarter tubing. So, this actually brings up a very good point. Now that we actually have shims, um, a lot of people have been buying our inch and a half sort of Houdini clamps, the inch and a half uh, hitch that we, cause the hitch is the same, but then we can, we, you can put the clamps there for the inch and a half. Um, and then our modular speed rail starter system in actually the inch and a half size, because then all you need to do is have a couple of shims in your kit. And then no matter what speed roll shows up on set, you're ready for. So essentially, if you buy either the Houdini clamps or a modular speed roll starter or the hitch in the inch and a half size, and as long as you add a couple of shims to your order, you will always be able to work with any size speed roll that shows up on your job. Um, and or if you are always using inch and a quarter, but you want to have the option to always run a bigger speed rail, if you buy the Houdini's or our modular speed rail starter clamps in the inch and a half size, and then you also order some shims, you essentially getting two for the two for one in a way, you know, because um, if it's bigger, you can make it smaller with shims. But if you get the smaller size, you're stuck with the smaller size. There's no way you can enlarge it so that you can work with the bigger size. So anyways, that's my two cents on a couple of different uses and reasons why you may want the shims and how that affects maybe some of your other purchases. But uh, if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. As usual, if you have a specific question on a Cinemill product, you can go to the Cinemill Users Facebook group. Um, there's a lot of people on there that can answer your question before I can maybe. And then I'm, I'm of course very active in there. And of course we got the Vehicle Rigging and Cinema Camera Car group on Facebook, which is growing by leaps and bounds every day and has a ton of very high-end key grips on there and it's a great place for you to share your rigs 
uh, and your experiences and get comments or if you're stuck with trying to figure out did I rig this right is this a good way to go um, that's a good place to get some opinions and um, some help and learn a few things so that's pretty much it speedy roll shims um, we might come out with other sizes in the future if we have enough demand but this is probably the most common of the of the ones that people ask for so now we have it it's in stock and we're shipping worldwide all right guys thanks a lot that's all we have for today and i'll see you on set